the Queen, 95, who was affectionately nicknamed Lilibet as a child, sparked the name for Meghan Markle and Prince Harry's daughter. The Duke and Duchess of Sussex honoured the monarch by naming their daughter after her but received criticism for using her private nickname. But royal expert Marlene Koenig has explained that while the Queen's nickname is used in private, it is used by the majority of royal family members. Speaking to Express.co.uk, Ms Koenig said, Lilibet is the name she gave herself as a child because she couldn't pronounce Elizabeth. When she was a little girl, her grandfather named a racehorse after her. It's what her family and friends call her privately. When Philip died, King Philippe from Spain's condolence letter said Dear Aunt Lilibet. It's not just the immediate family. Other royals call her Aunt Lilibet privately. In public, they would use Her Majesty or the Queen but Lord Snowden and other cousins call her Aunt Lilibet. Royal commentator Ian Lloyd has claimed the Queen would have allowed the Duke and Duchess of Sussex to use the name in an effort to build bridges with the couple. Speaking to Palace Confidential on Mail Plus, Mr Lloyd said, One of the things that Harry and Meghan could have done was call the baby Elizabeth Diana and announce that she would be called Lily. That wouldn't have been in any way controversial. He added, It's pretty odd considering they supposedly like the fact of a private life and they want their children to grow up away from the strains of the monarchy, to name them after two of the most famous royals in the world. I doubt very much if the Queen didnt approve she would say anything because they're trying to build bridges with the Sussexes. There is always the worry that if she flatly refuses to allow him to call the baby that they would be on Oprah Winfrey next week. He noted, I think she just wants an easy life at this age and to build bridges so shush is just going to go with the flow. A spokeswoman for the couple said the daughter's name was mentioned in a conversation with the Queen. She said, the Duke spoke with his family in advance of the announcement. In fact his grandmother was the first family member he called. During that conversation, he shared their hope of naming their daughter Lilibet in her honour. Had she not been supportive, they would not have used the name.